We would now like to call upon one of the most dynamic dignitaries that has come down all the way from Singapore to be with us for this launch of the India chapter of Unity in Diversity World Civil Society. May I please call upon the dynamic Mr. Dave Rogers to mesmerize and take the audience for a huge, huge round of surprise that he did even last evening. Mr. Dave Rogers, may we have you on stage. Good evening. Celebrating. Wouldn't it be wonderful when we met somebody and we noticed something different? We didn't think they were wrong, yet we celebrated the difference. Celebrating the launch of the World Civil Society India chapter. Maya, Kishore, Akhil, it's been a three-year journey to allow this beautiful unfolding to occur. Congratulations. Many of you have been, from the very beginning, sharing an idea. An idea from your studying, from your investigation, from your curiosity. Another key word I wanted to share was curiosity. Can we, wherever we are in our life right now, continue to nurture, like our wonderful educator here, nurturing incredible curiosity of the youth, yet not just the youth, of the seniors. Because the beautiful thing that I heard all day today was inspiring youth. Yet I guess what I would love to invite unity and diversity to definitely include is our elder states people. The dynamics of seeing a 77 year old playing with a seven year old, that is magical. That is what a civil society does. It doesn't throw out the seniors after retirement. They invite them to explore something called rewirement. The rewirement of our elder states people with the youthfulness of curiosity, the playfulness of joy and excitement is what I'm inviting. And I'm so excited today because in the last couple of years, I've really learned how important excitement is in a life. As it was shared, my name is Dave Rogers. I'm originally from Canada. And then I had my journey to Japan. And it was during my time in Japan that I really didn't have unity in my diversity. See, I'm half Chinese and half Canadian British. And for most of my life, I did not have unity in my own diversity. In fact, I had hatred in what I saw in the mirror. I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like the way that some people looked at me, and it created hatred within. And so the movement that I've been sharing and working with so many people is to find the like and maybe the love from within, because then it helps. It's the only way to allow it to flow. Yet in my message today, I really, I was blessed to be sitting next to Swami and just feeling his energy and his pure essence triggered a message for me to share from China. The word in Chinese, which we talked about today, was listening. The character in Chinese for listening, it consists of four parts. And the first part, when you listen, it's as if you bow down. The second part in the character for listening, as if you're listening to royalty. The third character in listening is the ear. 
Yet the fourth and most important character, when you truly listen, and whether you're listening to a baby, or you're listening to a teen, or you're listening to an adult, or you're listening to an elder statesperson, is you listen with your heart. So listening as if you're bowing down and honoring and celebrating. Listen with your ear and listen with your heart. <laughs> Unity and diversity, congratulations. It's been such an honor. I'm so blessed to be here with you. And may new friendships unfold from this that will allow beautiful gardens to flourish and reflourish and reflourish around the world. And may continued relationships in honor and love and respect continue to bring excitement, joy, fun, and happiness to us all. Thank you very much.